Bryant Denny Stadium, the 83rd edition of the Iron Bowl. The and what a setting it is. Joseph Bolivus will get us started. And Auburn will work from its 25 yard line. Because Waddle is right around the 50 yard line. Sip is to punt. He's going straight up with it here. Waddle has to. Oh, that fair catching a run over. And there's flags all over, and I hope he's not hurt. You talk about not seeing one coming. Well, I'll tell you, it's it's shocking right now, the lack of discipline that this. And then this on Jalen Waddle. And they're spreading it around. You know, five mistakes. That runs in motion. Play action here might be the play that Gary said. Incomplete. Judy, the intended receiver. There's the matchup right there. Man to man. You got to run with them. You know what it is. And Jamel Dean, who made yep. a play on the ball there, is still down in the end zone after a diving attempt at an interception. Second down at 10. And two is going to come the other way out in the flat. Brooks, and he broke a tackle. First down inside the 15. So now, forget it. Different offense. It's different offense. Ruggs picks up 20, so completions of 11, 13, and 20 for Tua Tagovailoa, and they are in the red zone. With inside the 14, here's a little jet sweep to Henry Ruggs, and Ruggs got more out of that than I thought he would. Let's check in with Jamie. 29% is good, and Jacobs finally gets a call. He got about three. Week in Atlanta, third and three to run all the way. For Tua Tagovailoa, first down and touchdown. Holding their breath as Tua ran to the outside. But when you're running behind number eight and big number 73, Jonah Williams, you feel pretty good about yourself, I'll tell you. You follow 73 and eight, you feel safe. Tua's going to come right in to the pylon cam for the touchdown. His... But they're on the board first. Bullivus extra point is good. We cannot practice it all all week. From the 37, Stidham dropped. I thought he, yeah, I thought Jennings, number 33, got a little bit of a head start on that one, but it was not called. He must have timed it out perfectly. I think yes, Jared he thought he was yes. offside too. <laughs> yes, he looked at the referee like, what's that? Trump. Stidham had it squatted down at the line of scrimmage, and that was Jennings point in the season. Tua got all the press early and deserved it so. But kind of like quietly, the Alabama defense reloaded. And third and long for Stidham. Stands in, goes over the middle to his short man. It's Whitlow in the open field. And Whitlow has got it down to the 14-yard line. Well, it's in pass blocking. He saw the late rush and dropped it off. That really says a lot for your quarterback. Big pass play of 23 yards, and now Whitlow back on the ground. And didn't get much, if anything, there. That's Schwartz in motion. He's going to get the carry. Blocker in front is Cox, and Schwartz is in for the touch. And the true freshman, the fastest guy in college football, Anthony Schwartz gets the corner, and a beautiful block by Chandler Cox, the senior. Anders Carlson. And it's up and good. Najee Harris in the lineup for the first time for Alabama. He'll get the call and drops. No gain. <laughs> Second down at 10. Josh Jacobs in motion. Talk him along with the throw. A short one to Devontae Smith. Up to the. Nope. Three man rush. Talk him along in trouble though. Does his spin move. And that runs back up the middle. Trying to get to the first down. Got it. And then some. All the way to the 39-yard line. And the scouting report on Tua is when he scrambles, he scrambles right up straight. And it's exactly what he did there. If you're rushing Alabama, you have to do what they kind of call crush the can. You can't come around the edge. you got to crush that can and put pressure on him up the middle. And it's easy to say because i got to say. Jacobs in motion again. He looked that way and comes back to Najee Harris, who puts the brakes on and then got tripped up. On an eight. Might be the final play of the quarter. Tagovailoa 
RPO goes out to Jacobs. Jacobs driving. Wow. Kind of work to that first. Ten yard penalty. Exactly. There it is. See, I thought Couldn't the, see it the, first the time. penalty start happened on the 31 yard line. I thought that. Alabama beats everybody by an average of 36. So you got to put points up. It's sort of like playing the New Orleans Saints. Najee Harris in there with Takabaloa. Two is going to throw it out to Judy. And it's first and goal. Coming around the corner. If you don't get him, you got man to man, and you're allowed to do those little cover man to man. First and goal. Quick throw out to Ruggs. And he got there. Touchdown. If the knees were down before he crossed, Monday gets there. No, I don't think so. I think that's a touchdown. He laid out. Pilato gave us a great look. He kept his balance just enough to yep. do that. He actually used Monday's body yep. to stay above the grass. Ball just has to break the Jones to hold. Bullet is extra points. Is up and just inside the right upright. The blitz. And out to it throws out complete to Judy. And Judy's going to be rough down. Okay. Safety blitz. Saves the quarterback and allows the first down throw. Second down at 10 at the 11. They can get a first down at the one yard line. Here comes the heat up the middle again. Tagovailoa lofts it to nobody. In Must stop for this Auburn defense right here, especially with the kicking problems for Alabama. They only bring three. Tagovailoa, but still that three is going to get there. He gets away, throws late. And it's incomplete. Getaway, as you thought it was a sack, we thought maybe it was a sack too because of the outside. But this makes it a much easier field goal. Let's take a look one more time. Yeah, I thought Derek Brown had him back Ooh, there. I don't know if that's a catch or not. But. Well, I can't get any closer look, but they should look at it because it's a big difference in the field goal. Catch. <laughs> there we go. All right, there you go. He gets one hand underneath it. Boy, that might have hit the ground. Bullibus from 30. Right down the middle. And again, Stidham wanted to go out in the flat. We lops it out there to Schwartz, who got leveled. Thought they had something working on the outside. Oh, what a, what a tackle that time by Smith. And Winogo was standing out there because he's not eligible. He couldn't do anything. He was just supposed to be a blocker. Exactly. <laughs> nice catch, though. It was. Chandler Cox. Double pass. Ryan Davis loads, fires, man's there, got him. Auburn touchdown, Malik Miller. Very deep to ensure the lateral right here. Gets it and throw the whole playbook at Alabama. Use every guy you got, every skill he's got. Extra point is good. So here's the Alabama offense that averages 49 points a game going to work for the first time and maybe a one-yard game. Tally now. <laughs> well, the ones they tried in the first half worked to perfection. Second down and nine. Play action. Tagovailoa throws complete. Irv Smith short of the first down. Coverage solid. Josh Jacobs, little delay, follows his blockers. Cuts it out for a big hurt. They're going to run it. They're going to make first downs. Run right at Jonah Williams. Good block on the edge, but not the huge. In the locker room, we're not getting explosive plays. They're looking for one here. They got the pass to Irv Smith. And he'll be brought down after a pickup of about eight. Give us. Already in Tiger territory. Here comes a blitz. Tagovailoa going long. Judy's got it. Touchdown. There's the explosive. Bottom of the screen right here. There's the matchup. That's been the matchup all day. Auburn's been willing to play man coverage. And Judy, with a perfect throw, puts... Extra point is good. That's what... And has flourished ever since that touchdown pass in overtime. On the RPO, the quick throw out completes. The left-handed Heisman <laughs> candidate was born as a quarterback. I'm really glad you caught that. Me too. That was impressive. That was Jacobs middle screen out to the water. Again, if you don't put pressure on Tua, he's going to just pick you apart. Throwing to the running backs, tight ends, wide. As I mentioned earlier, what would his numbers be if he had to play entire games? That's got to be a face mask somewhere in there. First down at the 33 for Alabama. Low snap. Tagovailoa 
play action deep down the middle. Got it. Jacobs. Josh Jacobs. Gone. Touchdown, Alabama. You've got a quarterback like this. Jack Jacobs right there in the backfield comes out. Doesn't run an option route. He just goes straight down the field. The two defenders are standing there waiting him to go right or left. He goes long. How about it? it out of Oklahoma. They found him late, and they found a gem. This has worked okay. Whitlow for three. And keep Natters. Schwartz on the move. They fake it to him. And then they're going to throw it to him. Let's see what he can do in the open field. Just that much. Four downs to make it. A oh, little confusion there on the snap. Stidham's just going to let it fly. Center field caught. This one. Slayton touchdown. He didn't drop that one. I knew where the ball was. Right side watches. Oh, yeah, right at the end. His right hand got the little push. Greatest underthrow of a Jared Stidham's life. <laughs> exactly. Extra point is up and good. And I think that's what Gus was thinking about the more touchdowns. That's our only chance. They got one when they really needed it in three plays in just a minute and 25 seconds. To attack of Aloha, down the middle on stride to Devontae Smith. Has been freeing these crossing routes right behind the linebackers. He missed one on third down. But Snap a little bit low again, the handoff, Najee Harris. Najee follows his blockers. He's got a first down. And Jacobs becomes an extra blocker right in front. Of, watch number eight. That's the guy that cleans it up for you. If you put on the tape and watch him, your quarterback run behind him, running back run behind him, revert, then he does it himself. A 20-yard pass play, a 15-yard run, and now Tagovailoa again finds the open man. It's Devontae Smith. A little hesitation at the 10, and touchdown yeah Noah Igbenogany this time thinks he's got him and then he does a sprint sprint he slows down looks at the quarterback and that's when he's beat when you're in man coverage you don't have time to turn around and extra point is good control their destiny straight give to Damian Harris to the 40. It gives to Damian Harris. Harris backpedals his way. And, and Alabama's had the ball for 12 plays in the second half, and they have got three touchdowns. And they don't look out to be enough. Pump fake one way, long ball the other. Touchdown. Hello, Heisman for number 13. What a ball. Well, I'll tell you, you put it up for grabs, and these receivers, remember, he was blocking on the last play. Oh, he had it, and that was clearly a touchdown. McCreary, number 17, was chasing behind. Ruggs, who was the key blocker on the last touchdown, is the key receiver on this one. And fourth quarter is good to Tua. Heisman, because he's been the talk of college football from game one. All Deep drop, lofts it, and it's intercepted by Jennings. Anthony Jennings. Ed Man on the line of scrimmage. Watch, he's going to be blocked, but he feels something. So he feels. He's supposed to rush the passer, but he feels something. So he backs off, and he gets in the way of the throwback pass. 47, 33, two veterans do their jobs. Interceptions. Jalen Hurts in for him. And Jalen comes up throwing down the middle. Jalen Waddle. Jalen to Jalen. Waddle, great speed. He's gone. Touchdown. Game. That looked pretty good to me. Sure did. Bullet us. The final snap. And there you have it. A perfect regular Alabama. 12 that goes the way of the tide. Couple veterans.